Remember when scientists were going to turn on the Large Hadron Collider? And some people thought it would make a huge black hole that would swallow up the entire Earth? Luckily, that didn't happen. And the closest black hole remains a bit further away than the Franco-Swiss border. It's not even in our solar system. But on the scale of an entire galaxy, it might sound a bit too close for comfort. Because a group of scientists recently proposed that a few black holes could be hiding in what's basically our backyard. It's hard for our puny human minds to picture just how big space really is. It would take the fastest thing in the universe about four years to go from our solar system to Alpha Centauri, the next one over. In other words, it's about four light years away. And as far as we know, there's no black hole that's that close to us. But our solar system and Alpha Centauri are practically sitting on top of one another when you consider the whole Milky Way galaxy. So if you're looking at our general neighborhood, you've got plenty of black holes to choose from. Or at least it looks that way, because sometimes what we think is a black hole turns out to be something else. For example, in 2020, scientists said they found a black hole in the system HR 6819. At a mere 1,100 light years away from us, it would have been the record holder for closest known black hole. But a different science team eventually proved this stellar system had no black hole at all. So why did scientists get fooled? It turns out black holes are harder to find than missing socks in the laundry. On their own, they're completely invisible. So astronomers have to find them using other indirect methods. For example, they can hunt for light emitted by stuff around the black hole. If there's a bunch of gas swirling around them in a doom spiral, the black hole's presence will cause that gas to get so hot it glows in X-rays. Or if the black hole has at least one companion star, Astronomers can infer its presence by watching how that star moves or how its light signature changes over time. And if you want to get really exotic, you can also use those ripples of space-time called gravitational waves to find black holes. But technically, those ripples just show something massive is lurking there in the darkness. So many times the indirect signs that a black hole may exist turn out to be a misinterpretation of the data. But what's the closest black hole where the data do seem to be definitive? It's an object known as Gaia BH1, and it's roughly 1,500 light years away from us. That makes it three times closer than the previous record holder, but it's still over 300 times further than Alpha Centauri. And astronomers are pretty darn sure this black hole is legit, because it wasn't just one team that discovered it. Two teams discovered Gaia BH1 independently of each other back in 2022. And if two groups can agree on observations, that's a home run for science. If only getting your friends to agree on a pizza order was that easy. <laughs> Now, as the name suggests, Gaia BH-1 was discovered with the help of a spacecraft called Gaia. And its primary mission is to survey the whole sky night after night and make super accurate measurements of where stars are. This allows Gaia to track stars that have a strange wobble in their motions. That means they have some kind of companion competing in a gravitational tug of war. It could be a planet, another star, or yes, even a black hole. The more massive the companion is, and and the closer it is to the star, the more influence it will have. In other words, astronomers can measure the amount of wobble to estimate how massive the companion is. If it's massive enough to be a star, but there's no additional source of light, it's almost certainly a black hole. So that's what astronomers concluded with Gaia BH1. But it took more observations to confirm it. That finally came when several ground-based telescopes pulled a superhero team up and studied the wobbling star using different scientific instruments. Instead of just watching the star move, they looked at how the color of its light changed too. It's a phenomenon known as Doppler shift, where the light looks bluer as the star is moving towards us and redder as its orbit takes it away. The more extreme the color shift, the more massive the companion. And this star's companion was so massive that if it had been a star, it would have been 500 times brighter than the one astronomers could see. In other words, Gaia BH1 is a black hole.
Thanks to Opera for supporting this SciShow video. Opera takes browsing beyond the default. It's fully featured for privacy, security, and everything you do online, like, for example, watching SciShow. But it is also good for making SciShow. When the SciShow team researches a video topic, we end up with, as you might imagine, a lot of open tabs for all of the peer-reviewed academic literature that we sift through. Opera has a solution for that. Their tab islands offer another approach to research organization. You can arrange and collapse your open tabs to save space. And if you're like me and you think you have enough computer power to sit down and read just one paper and then find yourself accidentally down a rabbit hole, you'll probably benefit from Opera's battery saver that expands your battery life by up to one hour and can be turned on with just one click. They also have a free and unlimited VPN built into the browser, so you don't need to deal with extra extensions to use the web privately. For everything from tab organization to AI chat, Opera does things differently. Download Opera for free at the link in the description. It turns out Gaia BH1 is not just the closest known black hole. It's also a bit of a weird one, meaning astronomers aren't just going to pin a proverbial ribbon on it and move on to other targets. For one thing, Gaia is a dormant stellar mass black hole. And dormant black holes of that size are way harder to spot because they're not actively feeding off of a companion, throwing out a bunch of x-rays that our telescopes can see. So it's a total coincidence that the closest known black hole to Earth is the kind that's way less abundant in the astronomer's catalog of known black holes, period. And it suggests there may be way more of them in our general vicinity. But the Gaia BH1 system is also weird because Given how close the star and the black hole get to one another, astronomers can't figure out why the star that turned into the black hole didn't eat its companion and get torn to shreds in the process. They do have some hypotheses, though, so a closer examination of the system may eventually reveal the answer and provide an updated look at the nuances of black holes and how they interact with other astronomical bodies. In the meantime, other astronomers are on the hunt for even closer black holes. And and if Gaia BH1 is down the proverbial block, we may have found multiple black holes hiding under the porch. In 2023, a team of astronomers published the results of some computer simulations they ran to model the Hyades star cluster, which is roughly 150 light years away. In order for their digital stars to replicate how the real ones were moving around, they needed to add two or three black holes to the mix. If the real Hyades cluster really has any black holes, they'd blow the record for the closest black hole out of the water. It'd be 10 times closer to us than Gaia BH1. But can astronomers actually prove it? Well, according to the team that proposed they exist, observational evidence might be a no-go. Since these black holes would also be dormant, you could try to find them through a technique called gravitational microlensing. It would involve watching the cluster and waiting for a luminous body, basically a background star, to pass behind a black hole. Then the black hole's gravity would act like a magnifying glass and temporarily distort the star's light on its way to us. The greater and longer the magnification, the more massive the black hole. Unfortunately, the Hyades cluster isn't in a great location for this technique. There aren't enough background stars in that patch of sky. The team also acknowledged searching for any gravitational waves that the black holes would create as they accelerated through space. But our modern detectors aren't sensitive enough to detect the ripples coming from black holes that small. So as we're filming this episode, the closest black hole is still over a thousand light years away. But with a little bit of time and maybe a lot of luck, that record will eventually be broken. And in the meantime, we can all thank the Large Hadron Collider for not churning out a mini black hole that would destroy the Earth every time scientists turn it on. 